Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I am going to talk about hybrid model. So what do you mean by hybrid model? So hybrid model is the combination of two or more models and uh, later on will modify as, uh, as per our requirement. So this is called hybrid model. So I will take you to my system directly guys where we will discuss more about hybrid model. So let's get started. Guys, let's talk more about hybrid model. What is hybrid model? So hybrid model is the combination of two or more primary models and modifies them as per business requirements. Two or more primary models. So we have primary models like waterfall model. We have a spiral model, VNV model and prototype model. So it is the combination of either of uh, two primary models and combined together to get the hybrid model. So basically we, when we want the features of couple of models in a single model it's called hybrid model so let's talk about uh, what are the examples of hybrid model so when we combine spiral model with prototype then we can call it as hybrid model another example could be vnv model and prototype model so these are the two examples i have listed down here now when we go for hybrid model when lot of collaborations or uh, interactions required between teams then we, we should go for hybrid model dependency between the modules so let's say for any particular product we have different modules so and they are dependent with each other then we we should go for hybrid model unclear requirements so if client is new to the market and if they are not sure about their requirements then we should go for hybrid model so generally uh, uh, we combined i mean in hybrid model we combined with prototype model so uh, i have talked about uh, a prototype model in the last video where uh, if customer is new and if they are not sure about their requirements then we go for prototype model so here also the same thing when we have unclear requirements then we should go because in hybrid model we generally combine with prototype model as i have given in the given the in the example with the spiral with prototype and v model with vnv model with prototype organization is trying to transition to agile model so this is another example when we go for hybrid model now let's talk about guys uh, spiral and prototype how we can make uh, how we can combine spiral and prototype to make hybrid model so already i have uh, spoken about spiral model so if you haven't watched that video guys so i would recommend please go through that video first i have provided all the links in the description box of this video like complete complete playlist uh, about sdlc process sdlc models so please go and watch the spiral model and please come back to this video so that you can understand better so let's talk about uh, spiral and prototype combination of spiral and prototype so if you remember we have four phases in a spiral model so the first point is planning planning phase the first one is planning phase second phase is second phase is we have risk analysis risk analysis third point is implementation all these points already I have discussed guys what are the different phases in spiral model and uh, if you watch spiral model then you will come to know and the fourth one is evaluation evaluation the software by customer now what happens in planning phase is uh, when we combine spiral and prototype here is first we build the prototype we'll create a dummy uh, dummy model prototype so if you haven't watched prototype as well prototype uh, model then please watch the prototype model so let's say we have different modules right uh, in spiral model we we work in iterations so let's say i'm planning to work for module a now what we'll do the first we'll build the prototype for module a we'll build the prototype for module a and we will test it the tester will test it and uh, then we go for review review from the customer and then last one is approval approval from the customer so these are the four phases we follow to create the prototype and uh, can join like this 
so currently i'm planning for module a in spiral model guys module a so this is module a now what happens is uh, in planning phase generally we uh, get the requirements and all uh, uh, will analyze the requirements with the help of ba so in this particular planning phase we we have created the prototype we have get it done the uh, done the testing and get it reviewed from the customer and we uh, if you get the approval if you don't get the approval then again we have to revise our prototype and then again we follow the same procedure once it is approved then this phase is passed we can we can move on to the next phase which is risk analysis once risk analysis is done so we'll follow the same uh, like uh, which we have followed in spiral model so risk analysis we do the risk analysis for module a and then third is actual implementation of the uh, product or project so we'll do coding and testing here coding implementation is nothing but the coding and testing in this third phase of a spiral model now this will uh, evaluate the customer will evaluate uh, give the feedback about the module a if they want to make any change then they will uh, revert it back to the uh, developer uh, otherwise we will uh, release it okay one because coding and testing is every uh, everything is done so we will release it and based on their feedback and customer reviews we implement those in module in the next module so this process will keep going keep going on uh, till we get the final build so this is how it happens in a spiral when we combine a spiral with prototype so this is the extra things which we are doing here to create the prototype and when we combine with a spiral model now let's let's talk about the next example vnv and prototype so how it happens in vnv when we combine vnv model with prototype so i need to draw this v model uh, v shape and this side is the developer uh, developer side and this is the testing side or you can say this is a software development life cycle and this is stlc so if you haven't watched uh, v model also vnv model then please go and watch v, v model as well vnv model and then come back to this video so how it happens uh, in v model we get the requirement from the customer so crs in the form of crs and then uh, we'll convert that into brd and then i'm skipping that as of now like brd convert that into brd we will directly go for the srs uh, so that Will be converted by technical team and with the help of ba that will be converted to srs and system requirement specification and in this particular point of time we'll create the prototype prototype okay guys and this is given to the development team as well as testing team and we'll compare crs and srs when we we create the uh, system test plan sorry acceptance test plan acceptance test plan and we'll create the acceptance test cases if you remember uh, v model we used to prepare acceptance test plan and accept acceptance test cases because this will be my acceptance level acceptance level the level of testing is acceptance level will will uh, come back here uh, for the acceptance testing later on so just understand like we do acceptance we create the acceptance test plan and acceptance test cases over here now what happens is the next uh, sorry we have uh, for, with the help of crs we create the acceptance test plan now the next point is will uh, uh, the developer create developer uh, created the prototype here now here this is the next level which is system test system test level now what happens is here is we create this system test plan and system test cases test cases we'll compare uh, srs uh, will srs versus 
CRS and we'll go for here we we go for CRS only customer requirement specification or you can say BRD and here we go for SRS versus CRS we'll compare both the documents and uh, and here because since prototype is created already guys so we'll we will test it and if you find anything in the prototype like uh, any defect or anything then we will revert it to the development team here and because here we'll test the prototype as well prototype now what happens here is again they will uh, create the prototype they will revise it and get it back to and uh, give it back to testing team now what happens the next point is uh, when uh, we uh, go for the client review so the next point is here client review and client re will review the prototype so if, if everything goes well then we go for the next step otherwise they will revert it back to the development team for again designing the uh, prototype and then again we follow the same procedure like uh, we'll get it uh, done the testing and then if anything comes up then we'll again go for uh, go to the development team and yeah we'll revert it to the development team and again they will uh, give us for the testing we'll get it approved from the client once it is approved from the client then we go for high level design Okay guys, so the next uh, level here is integration level. Integration test. And here uh, on this particular level, what the testing team will do here is integration. Integration test plan. They will prepare the integration test plan and integration test cases and this level of testing is integration test will perform the testing later on only but this level of testing is called integration testing we are ready with integration test plan and inter integration test cases now what happens the next is here we'll go for the low level design lld low level design now the next thing is functional testing here functional test testing or functional test level this is the functional test level at this particular level uh, what we'll do we we create the we'll come up with the come up with the functional test plan functional test plan and functional test cases test cases on this particular level when when developer develop the low level design developer develop the low level design now they will do the actual coding here because designing and everything is done so they will do the coding and uh, developer will do the white box testing or developer or uh, white box tester will do the either uh, the white box testing or unit testing unit testing so this is unit level so now like this and once software is given to the testing team software is given to the testing team to testing team now what we'll do we got the build integration testing uh, sorry unit testing is done now we'll go for the integration testing integration testing because already we have functional test cases uh, and func functional test plan and functional test cases then if everything goes well if you find any defect we'll revert it to the development team and if everything goes well we'll go for the integration testing here we are ready with the integration test plan and integration test cases and then we go for system test cases uh, system level testing here we have already ready with that system test plan and system test cases and then finally we go for acceptance test cases acceptance testing here we have already done uh, ready with the acceptance test plan and acceptance, acceptance test cases so we'll execute the test cases whatever we have written on particular level so this is how it happens uh, with v and v model and prototype model when we combine together so guys hope it is clear if you have any doubts then please uh, write in the comment box 
will clear it now the next uh, we'll talk about the advantages of hybrid model so the hybrid model is highly flexible so since we are combining two models so it is very flexible model in this model the customer rejection is less because of the prototype so since we already get the approval for the prototype so customer rejection will be very less it is easy to implement because it has flexibility of synchronization so easily we can sync because it has flexibility of combination of different models and it is easy to use and apply especially with a small and medium size project so this is very useful for uh, the small and medium size projects guys now let's talk couple of uh, disadvantages of hybrid model so it does not allow usual standards so since we follow uh, we combine the couple of models so usually sometimes we miss the uh, some standards in uh, when we develop hybrid model for complex projects it's it's very difficult to handle so yeah so these are the couple of uh, disadvantages of hybrid model so this is all about uh, hybrid model guys so please like share uh, this video and comment uh, if you have any questions re regarding this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye